Once there was a land where everyone drove elephants. And because they drove the elephants very fast, they had to feed them great amounts of hay. But this waste worried no one until one year there was a hay shortage. Then to conserve hay, everyone drove a little slower. So for now, there is enough hay. But will people continue their thrifty and wise use of hay? One hopes so. You know, a Chevron station is a lot more than just a gas station. Because people come in for a lot more than just gas. As you'd expect, a lot come in to make sure sick friends get the best. Dr. Jones to tune up. Some come in to save themselves a few shopping trips. Others come in to patch up problems. To make connections. For a little rest. Refreshment or to spruce up. Some come in for a breath of fresh air. And frankly, a lot come in just to find themselves. Phew! That's why Chevron calls it a service station instead of a gas station. So come on in for whichever you want. And at the same time, we'll help you stretch your driving dollar beep, beep. along the Chevron way. Way back at the beginning of time, when things were a bit slow, all of our finny, ferny, and four-legged friends went into hiding and started a brand new game. The game's called Hide and Seek, and with a few million years head start, they've found some pretty elusive hiding places. Bottom floor, fossil fuels. Which hasn't made Chevron's job a whole lot easier, because now we've got to hunt high and low to find them. Naturally, we always keep our ear to the ground for oil. Sometimes we're a bit up in the air about where to look next. And Chevron's certainly going to greater and greater depths to seek out our old friends. But the point is, after years of hide-and-seek, the easy hiding places are all gone, and the oil they left behind is getting harder and harder to find. That's why, here at home, we've got to be able to keep seeking wherever they're hiding. Most people's impression of a barrel of oil ends right about here. Beep, beep. When actually, Chevron scientists have helped turn that barrel into part of everything from things to make people feel warm all over to things that help our growing needs. Things to add a little color to life. To hold things together. To help people put their best foot forward or to put on a pretty face. <laughs> and a lot of things just for the fun of it. Best of all, that's only the beginning because Chevron's looking for more things in that barrel. Things to keep the economy humming. Things to make your life better. <laughs> that too is the Chevron way. At Chevron, a lot of things eat into every dollar before it becomes profit. 
Acquiring the oil our old friend left behind takes a big bite. Exploring for more oil and keeping that oil up and coming drills a few holes in our dollar. Keeping it on the move takes its toll. And of course, when you refine something, you take a lot out. Then, in addition to jobs and facilities, there are the normal business expenses. Finally, there's our favorite uncle and others who collect their share. So last year, about four cents profit was left out of that sales dollar. That's equal to about a penny and a half profit on every gallon of crude oil and petroleum products we sold. Part of this went back to the thousands of Chevron shareholders. The remainder into things like looking for more oil, energy research, and a lot more. Putting profits back to work. That too is the Chevron way. Out of each sales dollar Chevron took in last year, and after paying all expenses, less than four and three quarters cents profit was left. To a company, profits are the staff of life, which fortify us to meet the growing challenges of today and tomorrow. Part of the profit goes back to the Chevron shareholders, including the thousands of small investors who depend on it. Our old friend takes a bite in our constant search for new oil. A piece goes for new equipment, like tankers, pipelines, and trucks. Another portion helps us invest in new refineries, chemical plants, and other facilities. And an important slice nurtures our energy research programs. It takes a healthy company to help supply an energy-hungry America. So at Chevron, we make that staff of life go a long way by putting profits back to work. That, too, is the Chevron way. On Chevron's 100th birthday, our wish is that America's growing energy needs will always be met. But wishing alone won't ensure a bright future. It's going to take a down-to-earth energy program here at home. Now, oil and gas will continue to be the prime ingredients in supplying our nation's energy needs for years to come. So, at Chevron, we've got to keep bringing out our shy old fossilized friend wherever he's hiding. And Chevron's 100 years of experience give us a running start in helping coal, oil shale and tar sands, uranium, geothermal and solar energy lead more productive lives. But despite some progress, everyone will still have to keep nailing down ways to conserve the energy we have now. Whatever arises, as Chevron starts its second 100 years, we'll be doing our part to help make America's energy wishes all come true.